Hi class, I just want to go over what we did earlier today, Wednesday, um, about conditions where we use if, then, else, and end if. So what we did in class, we'll do now. I want to go over how I set it up so that it checked out to see, the computer checked to see if it was before midday or if it was after midday. So we'll um, go through that again and you can follow along. I want to make sure that you understand what we're doing um, so that you can keep up with the learning. You will definitely need to use if then else statements in your assessment. So let's figure out how to do it. So starting off, I'm into small basic and I'm just going to come in here and I will put in the program header as we've been doing author. Elizabeth Douglas and this one is to check whether it is morning or afternoon we could say or maybe we could say evening whichever word you want to put in here morning or afternoon I'll say. <clears throat> now we talked about having to test a condition Test if it's true. If it's true, then you're going to do the next statements. If it's true, you're going to do the next statements. So let's test that out. Let's figure out what the true statement is. If this is true, then do this. So what we want to say, if it is before 12 o'clock, then display good morning. If it's after 12 o'clock, and this is using a 24-hour clock, if it's after 12 o'clock, then display good afternoon. That's what we want to say. So let's start now. Start off with the first checking if a condition is true. If, you see how the IntelliSense is picking it up? Now, the um, small basic has this little function, clock function it's called, that can do things with clocks. It can check out the system clock on the computer and check things out. And here are all the things it can do. It can check out what year and so on, what second time month, minute, but let's do hour, that's great, and we want it to be after 12 o'clock, oh, sorry, before 12 o'clock, so if it's in the morning, before midday, that's the mathematical condition for that, then display this, and how do we say display, we've been doing this all along, text dot window dot, I'm going to write out using the right line, what will we say if it's before 12 o'clock midday we're going to say good morning and then we can end that if i'm going to show you another way to, in a few minutes to do this differently that's more efficiently but we're just going to do it piece by piece and then you'll learn a more efficient way to do it but this will give us good grounding for understanding how we set it up so now i've got it for if it's the morning, display the morning. So it could also be the afternoon. If, so how am I going to do that? Clock again. And we know it's hour, take that. And if it's after 12 o'clock, then text window dot right line. And what will we say? Good afternoon. That's awesome. Now we've got something missing. If I try and run it now, I'm going to see a problem. It says, oh, expecting an end if on line eight. So if I click there, on that line there, it drops me exactly where I need to have it. So I need now, I need, so straight after that here, I've got an end if missing, we put it here, end if. So that now should run. Let's go and have a look. Good afternoon. So it knows that I'm doing this in the afternoon. That's great. So if you've got that running, that's fantastic. If you haven't got that running, what I'd like you to do is to close down this YouTube clip and try it yourself without looking at what I've, run, what I've done. See if you can get it going without looking at what I've done. So I'm just going to save this now as um, I will call it good, good morning, morning, not typing very well, 
morning, good evening, and I'm going to call it version one, version one, because we're going to do a second way. I'm going to show you another way to do it that's um, a bit quicker and a bit more efficient. But this will work. This this is a good way of understanding um, how this works. So I want you now to do this yourself, but I want you to close down the YouTube clip and do it all on your own. Let's see how you get on. And then when you've got that finished and working, then you can look at the next YouTube clip, which will be Good Morning, Good Evening version 2.